be wondering why I'm holding a, bat, a baseball bat with one side roll. We're going to be making a hat holder. That's right. We're going to make a uh, baseball bat hat holder. Um, and that's why Blake has that. So we kind of skipped a part. We actually built one of these already and then thought, you know what, we should make a video out of this because other people might like it. So we're going to explain it. Right, Blake? Mm-hmm. Okay. What do we do with the bat? You put it up against the wall. That's right. We're going to mount it up on the wall like that and we have a couple hangers um, that uh, we'll show you. It's these types of hangers down here. Um, these ones just mount over the back of a door and it holds, there's two, just essentially two nylon straps. Um, that's what that whole plastic thing is right there, or the, the nylon straps with those plastic hooks. We're just not going to hook it over top of the door. We're going to screw it to the back of the bat and then put a couple screws in the bottom of the wall. And then those little plastic hooks are what are going to hold the, um, uh, the hats. And then we're going to use some uh, anchors to uh, mount to the back of the bat and uh, put some... Uh, some wire in between it to actually hang the bat itself. So we'll show you what that looks like. But getting back to the bat, what Blake is holding right here, it is just a standard wooden bat. Uh, this was a Rawlings half bat. A well, now it's half of one, but it was a whole one. We just bought a wooden bat and then cut it in half with a circular saw. So I mounted it in a vise in the garage. And then here, Blake, hold that bottom part of the bat up. You can see actually right on the inside where his hand is, There's a, you can kind of see where it cut through. Um, but yeah, we just cut it in half. So, mounted it in the vise, started on one side, mm-hmm. Cut it halfway, flipped around, clamped it in the vise, cut it the rest of the way, and boom. We actually are getting two hat holders out of this thing. So, one's for Blake's room, and one is for Kobe's room. So, we're going to start mounting this. We'll show you what we do. And uh, actually, before we do that, we'll go show you what the finished one looks like in Kobe's room. Then we'll mount this one. And then we're going to get all of Blake's hats. He's got this whole pile of hats up here. There's like 25 or 30 hats. We're going to get those cleaned up. 35. 35. Okay. And we're going to get them mounted on that wall right there. And this is Kobe's hat rack. That's it. This is the one that you probably saw in the picture. There's the other half of the bat. You can see old Rawlings Pro. Um, just cut it in half. And then we hung those uh, straps on it. Now this one has four straps. The one that we're doing in Blake's room, I think we're just going to do three because that's what I had left. Uh, for whatever reason, I had an odd number. And um, that's what we're going to do. We're going to mount it like that. Right, Blake? We're going to go over and we're going to start putting this thing together. Okay, so here are all the pieces. It said it's not a whole lot um, other than a couple screws that are missing. We got this, well, what they call bag rack. It shows some bags, but I think online, I think I got this off of eBay. It said a hat rack. Um, either way, that's what it is. So this is what it looks like. There are there's one strap. There's nine of these plastic clips. They're adjustable up and down, or they'll slide. And then there's this little ring. Um, there's one of those on either side. So there's those. These are the what I was saying. What would clip over top of the door? We're not going to use those. We have some D rings. So we're going to mount one of these D rings on either side of the back of the bat. And then we're going to take some of this picture frame wire and go between the D-rings and make it real tight and then we'll put uh, two screws in the wall, maybe two anchors and then lay that over top of it and that's what's going to hold that in place. And then I'm just going to use some self-tapping screws. Um, these I think are just a half an inch and that's what we're going to mount. It's like that. Those little self-tappers, they're really nice. I use these things for like everything. Um, we're going to screw that through the top uh, of the the webbing here and right to the back of the bat and that's what's going to hold that in place and like I said at the very bottom of the wall we're going to put a little screw and that's what we'll put the other ring on and that's what will give it its tension um, so we're going to start screwing the d-ring hangers of this put the picture frame wire on get these straps clipped to the back of that and then we're going to get this mounted up on the wall like so we're going to put uh, probably just two screws maybe two anchors in depending on if we hit a stud or not um, and uh, we'll go from there So I just opened up the D-rings and it's funny because I was just talking about the self-tapping screws and if you look closely, there they are. So the D-rings even came with the same self-tapping screws that I have a whole container of. So that's what we're going to use to mount to the back of the bat. So literally we're going to take those D-rings, um, see if I can get a better picture of them here. Sorry, the lighting in here isn't the greatest. And we're going to mount these 
right to the back of the bat. So just like that. The height of this is gonna be 66 inches to the center of the bat. So from the floor up, we're gonna mount it at 66 inches. Um, so that's where the, uh, this part is gonna be, where the screw from the wall is gonna clip around that. Uh, that, seemed, that height seemed to work the best for these particular straps. Um, and you, like I said, you could hang nine hats off of it. They'll overlap a little bit, just like you saw on Kobe's, and then they'll go um, from, the, uh, uh, from the very tip of the bat right here all the way down essentially to the floor. They'll be a couple inches off the floor. Okay, I changed my mind on how I'm gonna mount this. For Kobe's, I mounted the, the D-rings like you see here, but I had them facing each other. So they were out here in and this side pointing straight in. I took the picture frame wire and I just ran it in between them, made it really tight. And then I put two screws in his wall um, that went into the studs and then just hung that on them. That way it gave me a little bit of room for adjustment. For this one, um, I'm gonna change it a little bit. I'm gonna mount the D-rings uh, just like you see here with them pointing up. And then I'm gonna put an anchor in the wall um, where those spots are and then just mount it just hook it over there just like you would with a uh, a picture frame or anything like that so all i did was i found the center of this i measured this distance here marked the center and i put the bottom of my d-ring there and then screwed that in and then on this side same thing top to bottom found the center marked it put uh, the bottom of the D-ring there. That way I know the tops of the D-rings are gonna be in the same spot because that's my center line across the bat and uh, it'll hang level on the wall. So now I'm gonna go mount my anchors, at, again at 66 inches high, and then we'll uh, get ready to put these straps on. Okay, I have my uh, marks on the wall. I'm getting ready to put the anchors in. I'm gonna use one of these, or two of these hollow wall anchors. Um, there are all kinds of different styles of anchors that you could use, but for a project like this, I kinda of like these ones. You do have to drill it. Some of the other style anchors where you're just putting like a picture frame up, they're the plastic ones, you just push in, turn it, and then um, you put the screw in and, and it holds it. Um, I like these ones though because they'll mushroom out. So when you push this into the wall, it, you push it in and then you tighten up the end and this will compress and it will actually expand behind the drywall and hold itself in place. And then once that's done, you can back the screw out a little bit and then just hang um, your D-ring right on top of it. So again, I kind of like this because, especially with a hat rack, you're going to be hats. Hats are going to be going on and off all the time. Kids are going to tug on it. I don't want this thing working its way out. So I'm going to use these. So I'm going to get these mounted in right now and then we're going to get ready to hang this up. That's right. Oh, there they go. We're back again. We're gonna screw the hooks now. That's right. We're screwing the straps on. We got our little self tappers, and we got our straps. Blake's all ready to go. I'm gonna get this lined up, and then he's gonna drill it. Okay, so we have the three straps mounted. Um, since we were just doing three, all I did was measure in five inches from either side and then split the difference in the middle. Um, and I think the hats will hang fine off of that. And then for these straps, um, we got our self-tapping screw and we went into the thick part of the strap. This is the top part that would have clipped onto the top of the door, that, that piece, the, the hook that we're not using, um, came right below that and just drilled through it and we're just gonna let this back hang down. I guess you could just cut it off if you really want uh, really want to. Um, actually, we may even do that. We might just cut it because we're not gonna use that. And then the bottom part of this has this adjuster. So this will help you with adjusting your tension um, once you get it mounted on the wall. So we're gonna hook this on the wall and then we're gonna put our three screws in the bottom of the wall. And then we're gonna tighten this up, space the hooks out and it's ready to put some hats on. 
Okay, it is up. So there's the bat which we had up. There's the three straps that we connected to the back of it. You can see the hooks that are hanging off. And all I did down on the bottom was I pulled the straps snug and put a level next to them just to kind of get a feel for um, where they were going to hang. And I just put a screw down into the wall. Um, you could put an anchor. There's really not much pressure on this. Or you could put it in the baseboard. I didn't want to put it in the in the baseboard because I'm sure at some point this is going to move and I didn't feel like fixing the baseboard. So this will be easy enough. You can just pull the screws out and fill that fill it in with some joint compound. So put that in there and then I just tugged on the back of this, uh, the back of the strap, it snugged it up here and now these are snug. So all you gotta do is take the little plastic hooks that are on here, slide them to where you wanna be, hang your hat on it. It's not the best setup, it'd be nice if these locked into place, but uh, the way these work, I don't know if you could see this from the side, if I turn it like that, once you put pressure on it, once a hat hangs on it, it doesn't move. It just kind of puts it in place. So they will slide freely up and down, and then as soon as you put the hat on it, it just hangs in that spot. So I'm going to let Blake uh, move these around, put all of his hats on there, and then we'll show you what it looks like.